Hey, how's it going everyone? Thanks for joining me again. Um, as you saw in the last video, I changed the spark plugs um, and removed the ignition coils. But what you didn't see in that video, but I guess what I got to later in that tutorial was about oil leaks. And apparently when I was replacing or taking out the um, ignition coils, I saw that in the two middle ones here, it was kind of shiny at the end. And when I looked in, it was dark. So there was a good amount of oil in there. And yeah, luckily, I guess, since it was only in the two center ones, I did a little bit of internet research and I think I found out that it was just the gasket probably that um, goes around that spark plug hole. So. I'm assuming it's that. So that's the bad news. Good news is I actually don't know how long the puddle has been in there and I've been driving around just fine. Um, from the age of this get like um, valve cover gasket, the whole kit, last time I got it changed was it like almost five years ago, but only 10,000 miles. Um, yeah, that's pretty low miles. I'm not going to get into that since I don't really need to daily drive this car. I carpool to work. Um, so yeah, that's the main reason why the miles are low. So it's kind of almost strictly a fun car. And yeah, today I just wanted to check on, um, after cleaning the spark plug holes out of oil see if the oil seeped back in as like how bad it it is um, I've only driven it once after changing the spark plugs um, so and after initially firing it up everything seemed just as smooth so hopefully any oil that went down to where the spark plug was burned off and you know everything's okay so yeah, let's check on that and see how bad the leak is. All right, so I'm glad it's good news. So check it out. This is one that didn't have a leak before it. And as you can compare, it's shiny at the bottom. This one had a leak before, and now it's shiny at the bottom. Yeah, so yeah, like as I mentioned, it used to be just dark and black in there, um, or brown. And this one had the leak too. Um, I'm not sure you can tell, but this one, it does seem to have a little oil down there. Not exactly sure if I just didn't completely clean that up well, or that's new oil leak. So that is just something I need to keep track of. Um, let me know if you see anything, but... I guess that's kind of good news that I didn't have to drain some more, take the whole spark plug out and drain the oil and then torque it down and then start the engine to burn off, you know, any excess oil. Um, yeah, but since I didn't, I guess I only drove it once and started this a couple of times, it's kind of too early to tell how bad this really is. So this is something I'll be monitoring you know every once in a while all right everyone so i'm back with another update after i got to drive the car a little bit pretty hard in the mountains about maybe 70 total miles so i'm just here to check to see if how 
or actually how the oil leak progressed. And remember that these two initially had the bad oil leaks. I just opened the other ones just for reference. This one seems to be dry. This one here, maybe hard to see, but it looks like there is a little bit of brown, a little bit of oil at the bottom. So I went back and reviewed the first video I took before I changed the spark plugs. As you can see on the right, and sorry it's a little blurry, but you can tell that there is a little bit of oil in there. So I don't think that it's anything new and I don't think it's anything to worry about since it really hasn't progressed or got as large as number three and four. So I think this one's fine and I'll still check on this one in the future. This one is where you used to have an oil leak. It seems to be dry. And here, as you remember from last time, it seemed to, um, I can't tell if it's the same or different here, um, but there is oil there. So I'm definitely gonna have to monitor that. Um, I'm just glad that there's no flood in there, but it might be slow. So I'm gonna monitor it. Um, this one's bone dry. So yeah, um, this one is a little concern, which had the initial oil leak and it still seems to have a little oil in there. And this one had the oil leak, seems to be okay. And this one has a tiny, tiny bit of oil in there, I think. And this one didn't have the leak. So uh, yeah, it's just something to monitor. I think just by the progression of this um, leak, I'm just gonna monitor it and occasionally from time to time. So I'm not really in a rush to, yeah, replace all these gaskets here um, and do that service. So, but when it gets too bad and big puddle or something like that, then I'll do that. But now I'm just gonna monitor it. So yeah, thanks for watching, coming along with me on this journey and following me on this update. See you next time. Peace.